Good afternoon, this is Dr. Marlon McKay from Goldman Medical Center. It's that time of the year when many of us will soon be sniffing, coughing, and feeling fluy. And with COVID-19 around, when is it flu or an allergies, or when is it just a cold, or could I have COVID-19? So let me try and make things a little easier to differentiate between the common respiratory illnesses. Let's start, number one, with the common cold. Remember, it's called the common cold because it's just that. It's common. It has three main symptoms, nasal symptoms, which are runny or blocked nose, sore throat, and a cough. It's usually mild. You may have a slight fever, and then it lasts a few days after which you start feeling better. Next, influenza. This is a more severe illness. Classically, flu has an acute onset of action. You, one can almost identify the exact time of day that it started. And the symptoms, too, are quite classic. High fever with chills, severe headaches, severe body aches and pains, you feel like a bus hit you, sore throat and a dry cough. And compared to the common cold, the nose is not affected that much with flu. Also with flu, you really do feel ill, almost to the point that you need to be in bed until you feel better or until you recover. Next, could it be allergies? The hallmark of allergies compared to colds and flus? Itch. Itchy nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, runny nose, stuffiness, followed by a blocked nose. And even though it's called hay fever, there's generally no fever associated with allergic rhinitis. By the way, what's the one common fact about these three conditions? None of them require antibiotics. Do not take antibiotics for them. And so with the exception of allergies, which we treat with antihistamines and nasal sprays, colds and flus are viral illnesses, which we treat symptomatically. What about COVID-19? Now, some of the more common symptoms with COVID-19 are fever, cough, and sore throat. It's also possible that you may get gastrointestinal symptoms even before the respiratory symptoms start. For instance, you may get nausea, you may have vomiting or even diarrhea. Some people have even reported fatigue, loss of appetite, and then loss of the sense of taste and or smell. But even more scary is that there are now cases of asymptomatic infections. In other words, patients who are positive for COVID-19 but experience no symptoms. The classic silent spread as we talk about. So how will you really know? When is a cough a cold, a contagion, or when is it COVID-19? So let me give you some quick hints. Out of the illnesses that we have been talking about, only COVID-19 will have shortness of breath. Remember that. Only allergies will have itchy eyes and sneezing. Anyone or all of them can have nasal symptoms, can have a cough and sore throat. Only flu and COVID-19, more commonly, will have fever, diarrhea, headaches, and chills. However, if you are still unsure, or if you suspect that you may be infected with the coronavirus, please arrange to be tested immediately. In the meantime, stay safe, stay home if you can, wear your mask, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, social distancing, and please get the flu vaccine. Thank you for watching.